Hey guys, Karina here, your Lucid Living Coach. How are you guys? Uh, I feel like it's been forever, and it has. We've been through a lot as a collective for sure. There's a lot of changes that has happened, a lot of realizations, and a lot of starting over and starting anew. I have been having problems uploading my videos onto YouTube, even videos that I have already uploaded. So, doing the troubleshooting, I found that there is something called incognito. So, apparently I'm incognito right now, and it's working. So, I'll just stay there. I'd like to do a really quick horoscope on the next few days. I wrote a couple notes. I have a couple um, of my astrology charts, so I will be moving things around. It's been a while. I um, have to kind of get back in the habit of this. But there has been a lot of changes um, in the beginning of the week. So on the 22nd of October, the sun entered Scorpio. Okay, so it will be here until November 21st. What does this mean? Well, the sun of outer awareness and illumination is in Scorpio, which is of transformation, depth, desire. So this transformation and truth will be expressed in our outer awareness. We'll want to vocalize this more. So it'll be very exciting, passion, interest, focus, and creativity um, will be directed at our, our honesty and vulnerability and bonding with another person. Be mindful not to be overly attached or overly exposing or grim or cruel. These are the under lower frequencies of Scorpio. For example, when I was listening to the radio this morning, there was the radio guy and they totally, like the other DJs had totally called out this other uh, radio guy about talking about a dead deer on the road. And pretty much he said something like this. So uh, on highway, whatever, a uh, Jeep just hit a deer. So a dead deer is blocking the road. And he just continued on. So it was very grim, kind of cruel, kind of disregarding uh, that they're in showing no empathy for the deer and just saying dead deer. I mean, how does he know the deer was dead? I mean, so that is a little example of the sun being in Scorpio. If you want to know a little bit more about the over and under emphasized Scorpio, look through my videos and there's the improv on the Scorpio energy. So you can kind of see what you could be mindful of. October 22nd, Mars entered Libra. And it will be there through November 5th. Now, Mars and Libra is in detriment. And what that means is Mars, the ruling planet of Aries, is in its opposite sign of Libra. Okay, so Mars is the masculine energy, right? And it's entering Libra where Venus has been, which is the feminine energy. So Mars is joining Libra in, and actually they're the only two in the sign of Libra, which is about harmony, balance, and being mindful. And Mars is all about self-preserving and self and ego. Okay. So Mars, the planet of self-preservation and desire will be looking for harmony, balance and relationships and learning how to also care for another person. Okay. So this is, this is good energy. It's in detriment. So it's not going to be easy. It will be a challenge, uh, for all, like each of us holds the masculine and feminine energy. Okay, so all of us will be struggling in some kind of way if we're not really used to that, if we're not a Libra, all right? Um, tomorrow, which is probably you're listening to this today, which is October 25th, the moon is in Capricorn. Yay! I don't know why I love this so much. It's probably because I'm like, you know, super like, let's see, passionate 
And so, and kind of like, I have a lot of emotion that the moon being in Capricorn is in detriment because the moon is ruled by cancer and cancer's opposite is Capricorn. I just feel like it like balances me as far as like my emotions go. So, and that's for me and for most of us, right? So your emotions will be put aside to get some work done. You will search for structure and planning ahead. So now would be a good time to make plans of action. Maybe create future dates to tackle goals. And figure out what process needs to happen in order to get the ball rolling in the right direction. So don't get frustrated or get down on yourself. If you feel like you're not getting anywhere or things haven't went, went your way, you are where you're supposed to be, learning what you're supposed to learn. So be forgiving to yourself and get what you need done with the energy and the resources that you have right now, okay? So the moon will be in Capricorn for the next um, couple days. It will be moving into Aquarius on the 27th okay so use this energy for the next couple days so october 26 which is thursday the sun will conjunct jupiter and scorpio this is exciting so the sun ruler of leo is conjunct jupiter the ruler of sagittarius in scorpio so the sun and, and Jupiter will blend its energies together. You will feel a sense of adventure, risk, passion, hopeful for the future, optimistic, and don't forget lucky. So make sure to play those lucky lotto numbers and make it a fun and relaxing day. I mean, even if you have work, like make sure to make some plans to connect and have fun. Um, the sun and Jupiter will be opposing Uranus, okay? So, I think it's like a slight, um, yeah, it's a slight opposition. Because its opposite would be Libra. So, it's just a barely little slight opposition. Which will be kind of nudging. If you're uh, in a restraining relationship, you'll want to break free. However, if you're in a balanced and loving relationship, now is the time to have fun. And if, and if you are used to thinking more about yourself, give a little back. Because Uranus is in Aries, which is about self-preservation ego. And Uranus is kind of like, like a... Like a like a jolt, like lightning, like sudden realization, because that's ruled by Aquarius. And this transit will be transformative, one, you know, regardless. And you may even come to a realization about something that you didn't know before. The moon conjuncts Pluto also. So this can be like, you know, if you're not used to it, Pluto's ruled by Scorpio. And the moon is ruled by Cancer. And they're both water signs. So your emotions will probably be very intense. You know, there, there's going to be some depth and some passion that day. The moon will be merging with that transformation and desire. So let your emotions and desires be felt. Try not to overreact emotionally to certain situations. Try to invite some of the balancing Libra energy into this day. Things can go really extreme in different directions if you let it. So be mindful of that. And take a little drink. Beep. This is my new, my new mug. Look, look. The force is strong with this one. There's a little button right here and it stirs it. Listen. So dope. Mm-hmm. Okay. So Venus is squaring this conjunction. This square can cause some challenging or unease connecting to your value and your feminine energy. So be mindful of that. And Neptune will try in the sun, which will be pretty cool and fun. You'll feel like you're in a dream. Always love that. And Mercury. So we're going to be wanting to talk about it. You know, talk about our our dreams for the future, like what our desires are, what we really want, and see if we can bring that and drop that down into the material 3D world. 
you know, of course Saturn's there to slap us around and let Saturn do its job of being like, you're in the 3D world, you're in the 3D world, but really, like, we got to create in the 5D for it to be dropped down in the 3D, so don't let the 3D hold you down, because we don't start in the 3D, we start in the 5D, we start in another dimension of imagination. So, things that exist were once imagined. Duh. So, Saturn squares Mars will be, you know, while the feminine energy is being squared, of the depth of emotion, the masculine energy will be squared by Saturn, where there may be some unease with the lack of self-worth, confronting your fears, and it's all, you know, it's all over frustration with the 3D problems. The things... Don't even look at what's happening in the 3D, okay? Let let your desires, your imagination, and your dreams be felt so it can drop down into the 3D. You create that. All right, guys? So I hope that helps for this week's energy. And I hope I won't be gone that long again, you know? This YouTube internet stuff isn't the easiest thing for an 80s baby, an 80s baby. So be sure to subscribe to my links below by pressing that red subscribe button. Like my videos, and if you'd like a personal reading for me, or if you have any questions about your astrology chart, where the energy is for you during the Scorpio season, go ahead and give me a shout out. My email's at the bottom. All right, guys. May the force be with you this week. All right? Peace, love.